Okay, uh, thank you very much, Alan, uh, for your invitation, and also I'm very happy here to uh, have some exchanges with you. Majorly, I just for the purpose of uh, promoting uh, uh, the research in that area. Yes, and also this is my long wish to be in America uh, because I have a lot of friends here. Uh, also, this is the first time for me to come to the United States. So this time, I try to make use of one month to have a look at the West America first, then East America. Mm -hmm. They are stay in the middle of America. <laughs> that means middle, East, West, I have yeah. a trip around America already, yeah. <laughs> I hope this will be my wonderful trip. <laughs> but here, this is the Chinese. Usually in the public places, we have uh, some warning. For example, if you pass the narrow path, but you have to mind your head, otherwise it will touch something, okay? So this is the warning in public places. Usually we have very interesting American translation. Uh, for example, like this. Take care of your head. <laughs> Your head, something wrong with your head, you take care of it. But usually this uh, appear in the public places from time to time. But actually, we have this one. Mind your head. Yeah, this is the right one. That means we have Chinese and both English versions, but they can give you different functions in it. Because we call this La there is something wrong with language functions in this, in this signboard. When we learn languages, function planning is very important. We have the language planning, but usually we have, usually we only lay emphasis on the language planning of the state of planning, status planning, or position planning. And also we have uh, planned the language in terms of politics, e economy, education, etc. These three language planning policies actually lasted how many years? Almost 40 years. Very, very long. And during the 40 years, great changes have taken place in China. We have a lot of cultural stuffs and now we have a lot of languages which came to China in business, eco economy, education, sports, etc. So still we had this one. We have this one, regularization as in as languages in China and already. And suddenly we found that this cannot be continued. Strive for the harmony of social functions of language. But this policy is, I should say that it's very meaningful, okay. What's the stuff in the harmony? Harmony and the functions of languages? And here the languages, language no longer only mean Chinese. Uh, I'm sorry, it should be languages, okay. A, a lot of language. And the, all these languages, they can have different functions and that these functions should be coexist in the society of China. 